everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of Python Place Terraria. This is the ninth episode and in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing a little bit of clearing up of this area around here, flattening out the land for this little island area we've got here. And then also we're going to be going ahead and starting with the proper expansion of this house right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some of these sandstone blocks and we're going to get straight to work because I don't see why we should be delaying. So let's go ahead and get straight on with it my friends so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make ourselves a very basic extension going up uh, this way like so and obviously we're gonna smooth it off like so there we go. Now, one of the things we're going to have to do is make a storage room, obviously, because uh, without storage room, things are going to get very unorganized very quickly. And, well, to be honest, you've already kind of seen that with this chest here, this chest here, you know, chests here and there and everywhere. It's just like, oh, man, I need to get things organized, God damn it. So one thing I genuinely thought, it was the idea that these two were like background items, so I'd be able to put these on tables, but uh, unfortunately... They are completely opaque. In other words, I can't walk through them. So I imagine the best thing to do at this point would probably be to sell these things. So I'm just going to go and get rid of them. And I'm talking of selling things, I'm also going to get rid of this lot because this is all surplus materials. I've already got a full stack of rope anyway. So we don't really need that. So yeah, we need to go ahead and make ourselves some sort of storage area, my friend. So what we're going to do is we're going to dedicate this sort of large area, which is going to be like two blocks worth tall if you get what i mean so here we go we're gonna go down here we're gonna make ourselves a door wait do we need a door yeah we do need a door we need uh, a couple doors actually so let's go ahead and make ourselves a couple doors like so unfortunately we are going to need to get some more of this epic sandstone block i love this sandstone block i think it's a very cool looking block to be honest and uh yeah i think it's I think it's a nice addition. I don't know about you guys, but uh, yeah, I think it's very nice indeed. Right, so, uh, one, two, I'm just trying to figure this out really quick. Uh, so we'll do this, and then we will have, let's go 16, so it'll be a row of eight, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, there we go. And then another one of these blocks, okay, and then this. And then this would, of course, be where the door goes. Right, okay. <laughs> this is going to be a pretty damn big room. But, uh, you know, this is going to be a, a full-on let's play. So we're not going to be uh, dawdling around here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be doing things. Doing all the things. We're going to have such a large storage area. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. And uh, it's going to be needed. I think it's going to be needed. So, yeah. Here we go. Oh, well, that's the last of them blocks. So that's a bit of a sucky thing. God diggity damn it, man. It would be nice, of course, if I had more materials. Uh, but the good news is, of course, we do have bombs. So what we may wind up doing is going to this underground desert again and seeing if we can find anything cool. So, yeah, I guess that's what we're going to do. And also, one thing I quite like to do is get myself my first grappling hook because we don't have one at the moment. And it's rather embarrassing, I must admit, because not having a grappling hook, even though we've already started taking down bosses, that's pretty bad, man. That is pretty damn bad. Right, there we go. So, yeah, you get the general idea. This is going to be a massive storage room. It's even going to go down here like so. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty damn awesome. And I'm looking forward to seeing the finished product. So, oh, yeah, that's right. We don't have any gel. Dang it, man. We don't have any gel, like, at all. This is bad, man. This is bad. There we go. Let's quick stack them. Uh, 51 gold coins. Uh, yeah, we need to get some more NPC houses as well, don't we? Yeah, and gel, because we have literally no gel in the entire world, which is very, very bad indeed. The good news is, I do actually have a slime statue. I just don't have anything to link it up with, because we need to get the mechanic, which of course spawns in the dungeon. So, yeah, that's a thing. That is indeed a thing. Alright, guys, uh, I don't really see a point in cutting, since we're pretty much at the desert already. So let's just go ahead and, uh, yep, just murk a bunch of dudes. And yeah, we're gonna go to the underground desert. We're gonna try and find ourselves some more epic stuff, maybe some cool accessories and such, and kill these dudes because they're a bunch of jerk bags. Get out! There you go, son. Right, oh, good lord. Hi! Hi, hi! Oh my god, sometimes these guys take, like, no knockback whatsoever. It's rather annoying, actually. Right, so yeah, this is the stone we want to be farming a whole bunch of. So we're gonna go ahead 
And uh, we're gonna do a bit of a bombing montage because why not? So yeah guys, let's get on with this thing. Alright guys, there we go, bombing montage over, and it has in fact revealed a life crystal, which is awesome! Look at that, 340 health, very very nice, we are slowly approaching the pre-hard mode maximum of 400, which is very awesome indeed. Uh, we have ourselves another extractinator, another loom, another chest, uh, I'm gonna take this keg actually, because that might be useful for making cocktails, or Molotov cocktails, more to the point. Uh, cloud in the bottles, not too bad, got regen potions in there as well, regular regen. Not too shabby. I'm alright with this stuff, man. I'm alright with it. Okay, so, obviously, like I said, gems is something we're looking for. Uh, oh, wow, okay, that's a pretty significant amount of uh, stuff right there. Look at that, 495 blocks, and that's with me using, what, something like 40 bombs? It's not a lot, is it, man? It doesn't take a lot for you to get a whole crap ton of blocks, which is cool. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at that, it's even more. Even more crystals. Can you, like, die, please? That'd be very much appreciated. There we go. Alright, life crystals for days. Oh, another one. Really? Alright, why not? I mean, yeah. Pretty much. Just, why not? Okay, so, we need to find some gems, and I don't imagine being in the underground desert is going to help us a great deal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep on digging around until hopefully we might be able to find some gems. See you guys in a minute. Ooh, I've just realized I can mine up these desert fossils. Oh, okay, so it's become evident to me that you need a nightmare slash deathbringer pickaxe or more to break them. Okay, that's something to bear in mind with my other series, but uh, yeah, we can now mine these things. And uh, apparently you can go and put these things through the extractinator, so this might be a pretty interesting thing to do at some point. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to continue uh, digging up a whole bunch of this stuff. Wait, can I, can I blow them up now? Because I imagine... Can I? No? Okay, maybe not. Interesting. Uh, the reason why I tried that again is because uh, one of the ores allows you to blow it up, but after you entered hard mode or something like that. If I remember correctly, I think it's something like uh, Hellstone ore. Am I correct in thinking that? Because I know you can't mine it with bombs pre-hard mode, but... I'm not sure about post-hard mode, or in hard mode, shall I say. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, we're going to continue uh, collecting this stuff, and once again, I'll bring you back, hopefully, if I find some gems. Another chest, another bunch of loot! Ah, yeah! Alright, what have we got this time? Uh, that is a boomerang. Is it a decent one? Uh, eh. Not really. Oh well, not too shabby, not too shabby. We should be able to make a flame orang out of that later on, which will be uh, pretty useful against the wall of flesh. If you guys remember back in my old warrior playthrough, I'm pretty sure that's what we used to take down the wall of flesh, and uh, it was pretty useful. The flame orang. Ooh, so good. All right, guys, onwards. Ah, oh, yeah, we're so nearly there now. One more heart to go, and that's it. Oh, the final heart container has been found. We are now at 400 health, which is amazing. I'm very, very happy with that. But once again, still no sign of gems. Come on, Terraria, give me some gems, brother. Hmm, maybe there's some on this uh, on this here track. I may have to snag one of these torches back up, actually, because, uh, yes, I don't have a great deal of stuff. There we go. All right, let's see if we can find anything cool. Ooh, detonator! I'm taking these! <laughs> oh yeah, you ain't blowing me up today, son. Huh, another cloud in a bottle. Interesting, interesting. Wait, hold on a sec, I wonder if I can... Ooh, does this work? <laughs> oh, that's so sweet! I've got triple jump now! Ha! <laughs> oh, that's so awesome! Okay, where's the other one? That had defense on it. There we go! Oh, that's so awesome, man. Uh, guarding Shackle. Uh, I kind of want that because it's got three defense within itself. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and replace that. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Oh, and a bat statue. Sweet. I'll have that. I thank you. Ooh. It's a gray salamander. Interesting. Oh, he's dead. A rally? What is that? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I got a yo-yo from... I assume it was that salamander anyway. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> okay, and yet another chest. 
Wow. Okay. Uh, what are we going to have this time, buddy? Uh, oh, flare gun. Oh, how interesting. That's so fantastic. I forgot to scream with excitement. Get out! Clay block. All right. <laughs> Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh, there's a strange plant down there. If we manage to get a die trader, that thing's going to be very, very useful indeed. Uh, I've got yellow gel for some reason. All right. You get out of here. I'm taking that strange plant. I thank you. Okay. Onwards. Riding on a minecart. Oh, yeah. I'm riding on a minecart. Where am I going? Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold, 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 hold. Stop, stop, stop. I see you there, Mr. Chest. You think you're so elusive, don't you? Well, guess what? You're not. <laughs> ooh. At long last, we have ourselves a magic mirror. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, cobweb, I've eh, got a whole bunch of that back at base. Uh, eh, Daybloom, got a whole bunch of that back at base as well. I'm gonna mark that as a favor so I don't accidentally chuck it away, because that's the kind of thing I do. You, sir, can bugger off. There we go. Ah, that's can you. Okay, fantastic. Uh, is that a shark statue? It is. Ooh, I want that. All right, flare gun, get out of here. I'm not gonna use you. All right. Boom, there we go, and once again, uh, what else have we got? Silver bars, alright, ropes, don't need them, danger sense, I might as well use it, I don't see a reason why I shouldn't. There we go, ha, sweet, alright, maybe this will go to even more places, let's have a look, shall we? There's a heart container down there, but I don't really need it at the moment, I might grab a later down the line when I need a heart lantern or something, whoa, look at the size of this house, damn, that is, uh, that is some crazy stuff. Oh, look at that. More flare guns. How, uh, how interesting. Yes. Can you, uh, tell in my voice how interesting that stuff is? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna chuck something away, but I'm gonna try and keep it in the bin so I don't accidentally, like, permanently remove it, I guess. Right. Okay. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Alright. If you're, are you dead yet? There we go. Okay, fantastic. That's all good to go. Okay. Uh, oh, another detonator. Interesting. Alright, I'll stay away from that one. Oh, okay. Um, that looks like it goes to the proper underground area, so we're gonna go down there. Huh. Yet another underground house. Alright, oh! Ooh! That one actually spawns things! Ha! <laughs> ha! Look at this! <laughs> Infinite bats for days! Ah, oh, awesome stuff! Ah, oh, looks like I can't get money from them though. I guess that makes sense, otherwise it would have been a bit of an OP farm. Hey, look at that, bomb statues as well. That's awesome. And it looks like we got a marble- Oh, No, you do not. There's a Medusa down there. I kind of want to take it down. We're going to have to be smart about this. We're not having Medusa kill us again in this series. She's killed us like twice already, isn't it? Something like that. We need to make sure it doesn't happen again, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to need to be uh, very, very careful, indeed. <laughs> oh, man. Right, I tell you what, guys. I guess while we're making our way down here, we can actually jump into the question of the video, which for today comes from a user by the name of Karl Dendansk. And his question is, what do you like most about Terraria Expert Mode? It's going to be a very strange and probably predictable answer, but I literally like everything about Terraria Expert Mode. And the reason that is, is because I have been craving a proper challenge in Terraria for such a long time now. And in 1.3, obviously, they introduced Expert Mode, and now I could not be happier. Alright. If she could, like, stay down there, I might be able to actually do this thing! do 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 Get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked! Come on! Oh, she's dead! Ah, oh, I took down Medusa in a speedy time frame as well. Ah, that's so satisfying. Let's make sure we break that thing, because I'm not having that thing blow up on me. Right, I tell you what, uh, yep, that thing can blow up though. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, I still can't believe the lack of gems around here, dude. This is just, like, absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, I've been craving a proper challenge in Terraria for such a long time now, and uh, I, I really enjoy the fact that there is a Terraria expert mode in 1.3. Obviously, expert mode... Uh, changes the AI of some of the mobs, makes them much more difficult, they have more health, they do much more damage against you. So, you know, starting out in a new uh, expert mode world is, uh, it's, it's quite a mean feat if you manage to survive, then uh, brilliant, you know. You're gonna get rewarded with uh, higher rates of rare drops from the mobs, which is awesome. And then obviously when you kill the bosses, which also have changed AIs, you're gonna get treasure bags, which may have awesome stuff in them as well. You know, it's, it's just really nice. It's got... 
It just makes Terraria have just that much more replayability, and I really, really appreciate that because, uh, you know, you know, you can do so many playthroughs of Terraria, and then, you know, rather inevitably, you're going to get slightly bored. But with Terraria Expert Mode, you have the choice of just making things more difficult for you, and thus, you know, making things more interesting. And that's that's really why I appreciate the fact that this uh, Terraria Expert Mode has been uh, has been introduced. So, yeah, that's. That's pretty much my answer to your question right there. And obviously, I'm going to pass my question on to you guys, which of course is, um, what do you like most about Terraria Expert Mode? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And Look at this woman! Trying it on, sunshine! It ain't happening down here. It is not happening down here. Alright, we're going to kick this girl's ass. Alright. How's she going to try it on? Hmm? What if I do this? Eh? Eh? What are you going to do? Go on, go up there. Get, get hurt by the cloud, fool. Do it. There we go. Get wrecked, son. All right, come on. Come on, come on. Ugh. Now she's damaging me. All right, now she's dead. Huh. Sweet. You can't kill me. I'm invincible. Oh, hey, another heart. Oh, hey, another trap. Oh, traps and blooming hearts all over the place. What the hell? Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I like how when I started off this episode, I just wanted to get this uh, storage room going, but somehow it's managed to turn into a full-out mining trip. GG's, Python. You're the only person who's able to do that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm still looking for gems, but as you can quite clearly see, there just isn't any, and it's rather annoying now. So, yes. I shall continue on. Oh, maybe not. Apparently another underground house is here. Sweet. All right, what do we got? Uh, oh, regular Hermes boots. Interesting. That's kind of cool. There is one emerald. A singular emerald. Wow. Terraria is really throwing the ball out with its generosity today. I mean, yeah, we're getting plenty of chests, but in terms of gems, you know, things we actually need. Nah. Terraria is just like, nope. I'm not giving you anything. Why should I? What is that? Oh, I broke it. What? I am a terrible person. Okay, uh, get another one of these things. At this point, I'm not even trying. I'm just finding things all over the place, man. <laughs> okay, right. I'm going to continue on with my friends. Huh. Some more emeralds. Oh, there's only one. Okay. <laughs> what is with this game today? He's giving me just one of everything. God damn it, man. Oh, there's a water chest over there. Interesting. I shall see what's in there. After scouting around for more gems. Uh, hmm, interesting. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else too interesting. Right, okay, uh, what's this? Flipper? Uh, interesting. Ooh! Alright, we're gonna put that in the bin, we're gonna put it, that in the bin, and the mud blocks, and we're gonna take this, and we need to chuck something else as well. We've got a hook! Ooh, if we've got a hook, we can make ourselves a grappling hook, just a regular one. Hmm, do you know what? That may be the thing to do, because at this point, this mining trip has gone on for a lot longer than I would have wanted it to, so... Yeah. I think it's gonna have to be a regular grappling hook, because uh, gems seem to be incredibly scarce on this world, so... Yeah, that's a thing. Alright, let's head back, shall we? Good lord. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna head back to base, we're gonna organize our inventory, and uh, then we're gonna go on with building and crafting a bunch of awesome things. Alrighty guys, here we are back at base, and as you can see, we have the hook and a bunch of chains which I had previously crafted. And as you can see, at long last, it may only be the regular one, and arguably the worst one as well, but oh well. At long last, we have ourselves a grappling hook, which is awesome, because it means we'll be able to get around just that little bit easier. Obviously, you know, the reach distance is uh, something to be uh, desired, but uh, <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't matter a great deal. Now, let's put, uh, let's put that in there, we're going to put the shark statue... Uh, I don't even know at this point, man. I might put it on the roof up here or something. <laughs> Why not? And then, of course, we have the task of extracting a bunch of the materials that we've managed to grab, including the desert fossil, and I managed to grab a bunch of silt blocks as well, so that totals up to over 400 blocks to extract an eight, or extract. So let's get on with this thing, my friends. It's time lapse this. Actually, just before extracting the fossil blocks, I just want to see if I can make anything out of these things. Uh, oh, maybe not. It just can be placed. <laughs> okay, back to the extracting, my friends.
Alrighty guys, that is all of the materials extractinated, and as you can see, we have these sturdy fossils, which we got from the fossil blocks. Uh, maybe these are the things that we could be crafted into things. Ooh, look at this! 15% increased throwing critical strike chance, 20% increased throwing damage, and then 20% increased throwing velocity, so... Ah, a throwing class could actually be a fully established thing. That's kind of awesome. Hey, look at this, uh, an amber staff as well. Hmm, interesting. Bone throwing knives and bone javelins. Blimey, look at these. Man. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to make uh, making the fossil armor, the full set anyway, uh, one of my goals. Because I want to try and see uh, just how effective these things are with the throwing class. Because obviously we've got all these things here. Bone javelin, bone throwing knife. All we need to do really is go, go ahead and grab ourselves just a whole bunch of uh, fossil blocks and boom, we're done. Okay, so, uh, let's do the old uh, quick stack action. Let's go over here. Let's just have a look and see if we have enough to make any upgraded hooks. No, it doesn't look like we do. Okay, but we have 16 amber, which is enough to make ourselves 16 crate potions, but obviously we need other materials as well. We're going to put these sturdy fossils inside of here. And uh, that, my friends, is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Yes, I know we were supposed to be making a house, but we shall continue on with that in the next episode since we have the materials. But yes, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to leave a like, right? It'll be much appreciated, my friends. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But yes, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next Next episode.